Hello everyone and welcome to this week's Gainful. Today we'll be covering the news from May 20th to May 26th. Let's get started. Which organization has launched a new initiative called Heart? According to RBI, the debit card swipes on POS terminals have risen over how many percentage in March 2019? Tripura Gramin Bank TGB is ranked in top how many uh, out of 46 RRBs in terms of profit, business and growth. Who has been appointed as the CEO of ILNFS, Engineering and Construction Company Limited? Which American politician has been honored with the 2019 John F. Kennedy Profile in Courage Award? HDFC Capital Advisor, a wholly owned subsidiary of HDFC Limited, launched a new initiative called HDFC Affordable Real Estate Technology Platform called HART. With ATM withdrawal grew at a slower pace of 15%, debit card swipe on POS terminal have risen 27% in March 2019 corresponding to the previous year. Posting net profit for seven consecutive years, Tripura Gramin Bank uh, is among India's top three out of 46 regional rural bank in terms of profit. ILNFS Engineering and Construction Company Limited said its board has appointed Kazim Radha Khan as its CEO. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi is being honored with 2019 John F. Kennedy Profile and Courage Award. Which Indian comedian has been acknowledged by the World Book of Record London for being one of the most viewed stand-up comedians in India and abroad? World B Day was observed on which day of May? World Metrology Day was observed on what day of uh, May? The Ministry of Company Affairs recently announced that Dash e-governance service would integrate AI into its operations. The union minister has issued an advisory for drought to how many states across the country. We are talking about Kapil Sharma as the most viewed comedian. Yeah, uh, more, most viewed stand-up comedian I should say. Okay, then bees and other pollinators such as butterflies, bats and hummingbird are increasingly under threat from human activity. To raise the awareness of importance of pollinators, we have this 20th May as World Bee Day. Then we also have World Metrology Day. It's, it happens on 20th of May. Okay. Now the Ministry of Company Affairs announced that MCA21 e-governance service would integrate AI into its operation. It is the same MCA21 in application. It is an application that allows new business to complete registration process, procedures. Easily. It was an initiative undertaken by MC in 2006 and is now preferred method for company registration compliance and conflict resolution. The center has issued an advisory for drought to six states across the country warning them of or to use water judiciously with water levels in dam dropping to critical levels. Researchers from which university have helped develop a new computer program to find out person's genetic makeup? Council of Scientific and Industrial Research and National Physics Laboratory CSIRNPL introduced a refined international system of unit for the country on World Metrology Day. ISRO has planned to accomplish a total of how many mega missions uh, over the next 10 years? Which state has approved setting up of a commission in line with the resolution passed as Farmers Parliament? Ujala Clinic scheme for adolescent belongs to which state? We are talking about Australian National University's ANU having developed a new computer program to find out person's genetic makeup. Council of Scientific and Industrial Research National Physics Laboratory, New Delhi, that's situated, has introduced redefined international system of unit for the country. Now, so space agency ISRO, uh, which is gearing up for ambitious Chandrayaan 2, is also planning six others. So six plus this Chandrayaan is total seven. The Meghalaya government approved setting up of commission to look into the problem faced by the farmers by setting up farmers commission in line with the resolution passed at the farmers, farmers parliament. As part of ambitious plan to revamp Ujala clinic for adolescents, Rajasthan government will appoint peer educators and show shadow educators for counseling of youngsters and ensure better coordination with other medical health schemes. 
which company has launched Libra Network, a blockchain-based financial tech firm. Nikki Lauda, who died at the age of 70, was associated with which sports? Shivappa Setty, who died at the age of 86, was associated with which sports? Sami Shore, who died at the age of 92, was a famous what? Recently, the Badminton World Federation has launched a new outdoor game called what? This is very interesting. Okay. Social media giant Facebook has reportedly filed a license for new fintech firm Libra Network LLC with Geneva Commerce Commercial Register. After this, the company breaks into the blockchain to launch its own cryptocurrency. Australian F1 legend Nikki Lauda passed away at the age of 70. Former FIFA referee Shivappa Shetty died at the age of 86. Sami Shore, the legendary stand-up comedian and, and the co-founder of the comedy stores in Los Angeles, has died. He was 92. Air Badminton was globally launched as Guangzhou last week by Badminton World Federation with new dimensions of the court and an innovative shuttlecock called Air Shuttle. BWF has also launched a new format called Triples in which matches between played between a team of three players each with the presence of at least one uh, female and the players cannot hit successive returns. Okay, with which bank India's largest cab aggregator Ola has collaborated for credit card business? Dash and Commonwealth Bank have enabled secondary market trading recorded on the blockchain for Bond I. Name the first black African woman to summit Mount Everest. Name the first Arabic language writer who has won prestigious Man Booker International Prize for her work Celestial Bodies. Which Indian company has emerged the biggest company by revenue? So we are talking about SBI tying up with uh, Ola. Yeah. Now the International Bank for Reconstruction and Development, that's World Bank's arm and Commercial Commonwealth Bank have enable secondary market trading recorded on blockchain for bond i blockchain operated new debt instrument i hope you remember this okay it was uh, started yeah the world bank issued bond i in august 2018 now south african sarai kumalo is now facing another grueling journey heading back to the base after reaching the summit of mount everest kumalo made history after becoming the first black african woman to summit mount everest jokha Al Harti from Oman has won the prestigious Man Booker International for Celestial Bodies. Okay, just remember this Man Bookers are important. Reliance Industry Limited, headed by India's richest man Mukesh Ambani, has emerged as the biggest company by revenue, toppling state owned Indian Oil Corporation. The UGC has directed to observe which day of May as Anti Terrorism Day. World Day for Cultural Diversity for Dialogue and Development was observed on what day of May? Under which article of Indian Constitution, the High Court of Delhi has ruled that UN is not a state? Niti Aayog has circulated a cabinet note to provide 7,500 crore for establishment of what? A cloud computing platform along with the research institutes. Joginder Singh Salaria, founder of PCT Humanity, has created a world record in the longest line of hunger relief package where? Now, the University Grant Commission has directed all affiliated universities and higher educational institutes to observe 21st May as International Terrorism Day. Anti-Terrorism Day is celebrated on 21st May every year in the memory of former Prime Minister of India, Rajiv Gandhi, who was assassinated on the same day in 1991 at Sri in Tamil Nadu. The United Nations observes Another international awareness observance, the World Day for Cultural Diversity for Dialogue and Development is observed on again May 21st. The Delhi High Court has ruled that the United Nations is not a state under Article 12 of the Constitution of India and is not amenable to its jurisdiction under Article 226 of the Constitution. Niti Aayog has circulated a cabinet note to provide 7,500 crore for establishment of Airavat, a cloud computing platform along with research institutes. Now we are talking about the charity run by Indian Joginder Singh Salaria. We are talking about the place that happened was in Abu Dhabi. Recently, ISRO has launched Dash using PSLV C46. Recently, UNESCO has included the Indian part of Dash 
and is tentative for World Heritage Site. The Competition Commission of India celebrated its which annual day on 20th of May. Recently, Turkmenistan, Afghanistan, Pakistan, India, Tapi Gas Pipeline meeting was held where Anirudh Chandra Shekhar and Nikki Kalyanda Punacha are associated with which sports. We are talking about Resat2B, which was launched using PSLV C46. UNESCO has included Indian part of Kailash Mansarovar in its tentative list of World Heritage Site, sources in the Cultural Ministry said. Okay, the Competition Commission of India celebrated its 10th annual day on 20th of May 2019, which marks the notification substantive enforcement provision for Competition Act 2002. A delegation led by Special Assistant to Prime Minister on Petroleum, Nadim Babar, attended evening on the development of Turkmenistan, Afghanistan, Pakistan, India pipeline, that gas pipeline in Ashgabat, Turkmenistan. Okay, uh, in the doubles final, ITF men's future in Uganda, top seeded Aniruddha Chandra Shekhar and Nikki Punacha asserted themselves. So we are talking about tennis. Karnataka Bank has launched new saving bank product Dash, a customized product for the salaried class with three variants. Which bank has announced a strategic partnership with the FMCG arm of the art of living, Sri Sri Tattwa? Name the first HIV infected person who has successfully uh, summit the Mount Everest. FSSAI has permitted small organic producer having an annual turnover of how much lakh to sell their produce directly to end consumer without certification till 2020. Who is the author of Coming Around the Mountain? We are talking about the product named KBL SB Salary, a customized product for the salaried class with three variants. That's Karnataka Bank. The State Bank of India has announced a strategic partnership with FMCG Arm of the Art of Living, Sri Sri Tattva. A 56-year Gopal Shrestha from Pokhara in Nepal became the first HIV-infected climber to ascend world highest peak, the Mount Everest. The food safety regulator FSSAI has permitted small organic producer having annual turnover of 12 lakh up to 12 lakh to sell their produce directly to end consumer without certification till April 2020. A similar relaxation has been given to aggregator having annual turnover of up to 50 lakhs. India's beloved children author Ruskin Bond celebrated his 85th birthday on May 19 this year with the release of his new who has inaugurated the campaign not all animals migrate by choice what is india's rank as country of origin for global online attacks according to kaspers key security bulletin 2019 the international day for biological diversity was observed on which day of may 2019 the un has projected india's gdp growth at what percent in the fiscal year 2020 chancy chitete of where has been chosen for UN's biggest peacekeeping award for his sacrifice. We are talking about Dia Mirja has inaugurated this campaign, UN Goodwill Ambassador and recently appointed Secretary General of uh, Sustainable Development Goal Advocate. So this is uh, what she has done. International Day of Biological Diversity was celebrated on the May 22nd and Dia Mirja was uh, the one who inaugurated the campaign. As high as 31% of the Indian users were attacked by web born, uh, born threats between January to March 2019, placing India in the 26th place worldwide when it comes to the danger associated with surfing the web. India is placed 14th worldwide as a country of origin for global online attacks, according to Kaspersky Security Bulletin 2019. The United Nations has proclaimed May 22nd, the International Day for Biological Diversity, to increase understanding and awareness of biodiversity issue. A report by the United Nations says Indian economy is projected to grow at 7.1% in fiscal year 2020 on back of strong domestic consumption and investment. Private Chansi Chitete of Malawi was killed in November 2018 during an operation in the eastern part of the country to combat ADF an armed force that has been terrorizing civilian and disrupting UN ongoing effort to treat, halt and spread of the deadly Ebola virus. The Order of the Rising Sun, Gold and Silver Star Award belongs to which country? 
recently the meeting of the council of foreign minister of sco was held where which tech company has backed a 300 billion defense contract to supply rfid radio frequency identification to indian navy bases and ships vijay mullai who died at the age of 98 was a renowned what what is india's rank in kids right index by kids right foundation in cooperation former foreign secretary shyam saran will be conferred japan's second highest national award the order of rising sun gold and silver star so swaraj has has said that india is determined to consistently strengthen cooperation with the shanghai cooperation organization during the meeting of council of foreign ministers of sco in bishkek kyrgyzstan leading software major tech mahindra said it backed 300 billion defense contract to supply rfid based on access control system to indian navy bases and ships renowned filmmaker and film historian vijay mulla passed away at the age of 98 india stands a lowly 117th position out of 181 countries in the kids right index which organization has been conferred with the fiki claims excellence award recently which organization has signed an agreement of 750 million to electrify railway tracks in india The Indian Air Force successfully test fired the air launch Brahmos A supersonic cruise missile from which fighter named the first woman pilot of the Indian Air Force to qualify to undertake combat mission on a fighter jet named the newly appointed judge of the Supreme Court of the India Bharti Exa Life Insurance a private life insurer has conferred with Fiki Claims Excellence Award multilateral funding agency Asian Development Bank has said it has signed an agreement to provide 750 million dollar equivalent in indian rupee long term financing to electrify railway tracks in india the indian air force successfully test fired air launched brahmos a supersonic cruise missile from shukhoi su 30 mk fighter on may 22nd scripting the history flight lieutenant bhavna kant became the first woman pilot of the indian air force to qualify to undertake combat mission on a fighter jet The center has cleared the names of judges Anirudh Bose, AS Bopanna, BR Gavai and Surikant to be elevated to the Supreme Court. Recently who has been presented with an honorary degree by the prestigious Yale University. Third year World Turtle Day was observed on which day? According to the annual threat report 2019 which city which Indian city is the most vulnerable city in terms of cyber attack? Recently which country countries has have been recognized by who as malaria free which countries have participated in pacific vanguard exercise former pepsi co chairman and ceo indra noi was presented with an honorary degree by the prestigious yale university her alma mater in recognition of her achievements in business and for being a global role model who encourage women and girls to see themselves as top corporate executive the purpose of world turtle day may 23 sponsored yearly since 2000 by American Tortoise Rescue is to bring attention to and increase knowledge of and respect for turtles and tortoises and encourage human action to help them survive and thrive Pune based antivirus quick heal release a report titled annual threat report cities at most risk mumbai delhi and bangalore even non metropolitan cities like jalalpur in up bhubneshwar in odisha and patna in bihar have emerged nation in the nation specific study undergone to find the most vulnerable cities algeria and argentina have been officially recognized by who as malaria free the certification granted when a country proves that it has interrupted indigenous transmission of disease for at least 3 consecutive years us navy ship conducted joint drills with warships from the allies japan australia and south korea in their first combined exercise in the western recently Which business conglomerate has emerged as India's most valuable by the way of market capitalization? What will be India's GDP growth rate in 2022 according to OECD? Who has been honored as the Global Asian of the Year 2018-19 award in the Dubai? Recently, which country has banned the Chinese digital wallet Alipay and WeChat to prevent the loss of foreign currency earnings from Chinese tourists? Tun Haji Ahmed Shah, who died at the age of 88. was a former king of which country the hdfc group has overtaken the 151 year old tata group to emerge as india's most valuable 
by the way of market capitalization. India's economic growth will retain strength and will approach 7.5% by 2022 buoyed by the rural consumption and subdued inflation, OECD has said. Bangalore-based medical doctor Hema Devakar was honored the Global Asian of the Year 2018-19 award in Dubai for her human services and contribution to the women health ecosystem in India. Nepal said it has banned popular Chinese digital wallet Alipay and WeChat to prevent the loss of foreign currency earnings from tens and thousands of Chinese tourists. Malaysia's former king Tun Haji Ahmad Shah, father of the incumbent King Sultan Abdullah Sultan Ahmad Shah, died at the age of 88. International Day to End Obstetric Fistula was observed on which day? According to the state of Telangana, GSDP of state for the first time after its formation has grown at the rate of what percentage in FY 2019? The Department of Biotechnology has signed an MOU with which country for supporting joint collaborative research program in the area of cancer? The fifth smart city of India 2019 has been conducted where uh, who has made a project named Butterfly Attractant for Pollination and Ecosystem Health that has received an award in El Silver Foundation IC, ISC3 Green Sustainable Chemistry Challenge. United Nations has observed International Day to End Obstetric Fistula since 2013. The day is 23rd May. Telangana Gross State Domestic Product has grown 15% in the financial year ended 31st March 2019. Department of Biotechnology, Minister of Science and Technology and Department of Atomic Energy, Government of India signed MOU for supporting joint collaborative research program in the area of cancer. The fifth Smart Cities India 2019 Expo was held in Pragati Maidan. In an international competition, El Silver Foundation ISC3 Green and Sustainable Chemistry Challenge, idea by Ankur Patwardhan from Pune has bagged the second prize for 25,000 euro. Which space agency has delivered 60 satellites into the orbit as the first batch of a satellite broadband project? Which organization has unveiled snake bite and venoming strategy? According to the journal Nature, which country has been illegally emitting CFC-11, the banned ozone depleting chemical? Which organization has published the report titled Women in Business and Management, the Business Case for Change? NHAI has planted around how many plants across the country along the highway in past three years. We are talking about SpaceX has officially entered the satellite broadband race delivering 60 Starlink satellite to orbit via Falcon 9 rocket. The World Health Organization has unveiled a new strategy to dramatically cut deaths and injuries from snake bite warning a dearth of antivenom could soon spark a public health emergency. China has been illegally emitting chloro, uh, trichlorofluoromethane or CFC-11, the banned ozone depleting chemical, according to research published in the journal Nature. According to the new report from the Bureau of Employers Activities of the International Labour Organization, Women in Business and Management, the business case for change, more than 57% of the respondents agreed that gender diversity initiative improved business outcomes. The National Highway Authority of India informed the National Green Tribunal that around 1 crore trees have been planted across the country along the highway in the past 3 years. Which country has successfully test-fired surface-to-surface ballistic missile Shaheen 2? Who has been ranked number 1 in the latest MRF tire ICC ODI ranking of all rounder Dash payment company Wirecard said it would work with India to simplify the process of issuing tax identity cards required to open bank account, transfer money or complete business transactions. Under the newly recommended securities elephant bond by an advisory group, the people have to mandatorily invest how much of their undisclosed income in them. Dr. K. Shivan flagged off the shipment of India's largest Liquid Hydrogen Storage Tank, VRV Asia Pacific Production Plant in which district? Pakistan has successfully test-fired surface-to-surface ballistic missile Shaheen-2 capable of hitting target as far as 1500 kilometers away. Senior Bangladesh cricketer Shakib al Hassan jumped to the top spot in the latest MRF tire ICC ODI ranking for all-rounders. 
German payment company Wirecard said it would work with India to simplify the process of issuing tax identity cards required to open bank account, transfer money or complete business transactions. A government appointed advisory group has suggested issuance of elephant bond wherein people declaring undisclosed income will have to mandatorily invest half of that amount in these securities. Indian Space Research Organization Secretary DOS and Chairman Dr. K. Sivan flagged off the shipment of India's largest liquid hydrogen storage tank at VRV Asia Pacific production plant at Sri City in Chittor district. Tafe has made Dash as its brand ambassador for Massey Ferguson brand, named the first Indian woman to successfully scale Mount Makalu. The Urban 20 Summit 2019 of mayors and city governors was held where which institute has released the report titled Cracking the Code Girls and Women's Education in STEM, who is the winner of India's Women League Trophy Football Tournament. Tafe, India's second largest tractor manufacturer by volume, has robed in Bollywood actor Akshay Kumar as his brand ambassador. Priyanka Mohite, a mountaineer from Satara, Maharashtra, became the first Indian woman to successfully scale Mount Makalu, the fifth highest mountain in the world at 8481 meters. Mayors and city governors from Urban 20 have gathered in 2019 Urban 20 Tokyo Mayor Summit ahead of group of 20 G20 Summit scheduled for June 28 to 29 in Osaka. Okay, so G20, yeah, group of 20 schedule is here in Osaka ahead of UNESCO groundbreaking report cracking the code girls and women's education in STEM. Only 35% of STEM students in higher education globally are women. Setu FC turned around a first half deficit to clinch their first ever Indian Women League trophy after defeating Manipur Police 3-1 at Guru Nanak Stadium in Lodhiana. Recently, which country has unveiled a prototype of maglev train which is designed at a maximum speed of 600 km per hour? SEO Mass Media Forum was organized where Total how many medals have Indian boxer won at Indian Open International Boxing Tournament in Guwahati? The Archery World Cup Stage 3 was organized where Bellage unmanned dump trucks which are among the biggest in the world has begun working at a test site in which country uh, using 5G? China has unveiled the prototype magnetic levitation train with a design maximum speed of 600 which is manufacturer say could pose major competition to airline industry. The Indian delegation in participating in the second Shanghai Cooperation Organization Mass Media Forum as Biscake in Kyrgyzstan. India backed total of 57 medals including 12 gold, 18 silver and 27 bronze as India Open International Boxing Tournament in Guwahati. The men's compound team of Rajat Chauhan, Abhishek Verma and Aman Saini earned India's solitary bowl, uh, bronze medal at Archery World Cup Stage 3 in Antalya, Turkey. Pillars unmanned dump trucks which were among the biggest in the world has begun working at the test site town of Zodino in Belarus using 5G. New Space India Limited, the commercial arm of Indian Space Research Organization was officially inaugurated where which bank has launched Corp SME Subida, a portal for GST registered MSMEs every year on what day of May is commemorated as International Missing Children Day? Which rocket will be used in NASA's Artemis lunar mission that will send human to moon by 2024? India's Air Force Dash Transport Aircraft has been formal, formally fleet certified to fly on blended aviation fuel containing 10% of indigenous biojet fuel. New Space India Limited, the commercial arm of Indian Space Research Organization, was officially inaugurated in Bangalore. Corporation Bank has launched Corp SME Suvida, a product for GST registered MSMEs. Every year, 25th May is commemorated as International Missing Children Day. NASA Administrator Jim Br Britston confirmed that Artemis 1 will have an uncrewed mission around Moon plan for 2020. Artemis 2 will orbit Earth satellite with crew around 2022 and finally Artemis 3 will put astronaut on the lunar soil in 2024 and the 3 will be launched to space by the biggest rocket of all time Boeing led space launch system. Indian Air Force AN32 transport aircraft has been formally fleet certified to fly on blended aviation fuel containing up to 10% of indigenous biojet fuel. 
which Indian artist has won John Miro Prize 2019. Salesh Tinaikar has been appointed as the new force commander of United Nations Mission where India has banned the Jamaat ul Mujahideen Bangladesh under the Unlawful Activities Prevention Act of which year. Which film has won Palm Dior Prize at the Cannes Film Festival 2019 who has been appointed as the Chief Justice of Delhi High Court. The Indian contemporary artist Nalini Malini has won the Joan Miro Prize for 2019. The Indian officer, the Indian Army officer has been appointed for the South Sudan mission. Okay, the Bangladesh terror outfit Jamaat ul Mujahideen uh, in Bangladesh, JMB Bangladesh, was banned by the first schedule to the Unlawful Activities Prevention Act of 1967. South Korean director Bong Joon Ho rock a social satire parasite about a poor family of hustler who find job with a wealthy family won the Cannes Film Festival, the top prize, Palm Dior. Okay. Now the center has cleared the appointment of Justice D.N. Patel as the Chief Justice of Delhi High Court. Which India Indian has been honored with UNSDG 10 Most Influential People in Healthcare Award? Which footballer has won the Golden Shoe 2018-19? Who has inaugurated the Sahara Naval Hostel for Veer Naris at Vasant Kunj in New Delhi? Who has won the Women 10 Meter Air Rifle Gold in ISSF World Cup Rifle and Pistol Tournament in Munich. Uh, recently, the scientists found 1 billion year old fungi where? Patanjali Ayurveda's uh, MD Acharya Balakrishna received UNSDG 10 Most Influential People Health in the Healthcare Award. Leon Messi has won his third consecutive and sixth overall golden shoe. Given to the top scorer in all of European football, Honorable Lieutenant Governor of Delhi, Sri Anil Baijal, inaugurated Sahara Naval Hostel for Veer Naris at Vasant Kunj in New Delhi. A Purvi Chandala bagged women 10 meter air rifle gold to get India's campaign off to a good start in ISSF World Cup Rifle and Pistol Tournament in Munich. And scientists have recently found 1 billion year old fungi in Canada. World Thyroid Day is observed on which day of May? The government has restricted the import of biofuels including what else? Adani Port and Special Economic Zone will set up its first container terminal outside India where which country will host an international conference against anti-Semitism in memory of Holocaust in October 2020? The government has decided to merge the Central Statistical Organization and NSSO to form a National Statistical Office based on the report of the National Statistical Commission headed by whom? We are talking about every year on May 25th is observed as World Thyroid Day. Government has restricted the import of biofuel including ethyl alcohol, biodiesel and petroleum oil for all purpose and their import will require import license from Director General of Foreign Trade and uh, DGFT basically. In Adani Port and Special Economic Zone will set a first container terminal outside India in Myanmar. Sweden will host an international conference again anti-Semitism in memory of the Holocaust in October 2020. And finally, we have the Statistical Commission. It was headed by C. Rangarajan who said that this uh, NSSO and CSO should be merged. Okay. Which country has shown the highest download of mobile application in first quarter of 2019? WhatsApp has announced in-app ads are coming to the messaging services by which year? Kalpana Das who died recently was what? Surya Prakash who died at the age of 78 was what? Mahesh Mangaonkar is associated with which sports? We are talking about India has emerged as a top nation in the application download in the first quarter of 2019. And the WhatsApp, the in in app message will uh, the ads will start from 2020. Yeah, uh, we are talking about the Odisha's mountaineer Kalpana Das who died in an unfortunate incident while descending world highest peak. Surya Prakash who was a world known painter, and Mahesh Mangaonkar is a squash player. Okay, so with that, we come to an end of this week's Gainful. I'll again see you very soon with the next one. Thank you very much.